All right, guys, today I'm going to show you how I make my substitute uh, green soap, which I don't really use green soap because it just has too much alcohol in it. And, you know, it kind of irritates the skin. And that's the reason why I don't really like using it. And I found this uh, right here method a little bit better. And it's more price efficient than anything, but it is less irritating on the skin because this basically has no alcohol in it at all. And I know what you're all going to say, well, you know, them uh, antibacterial soaps usually have a little bit of alcohol in it. But I can show you, so the ingredients get really up there. Water, sodium, blah, 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 yeah, 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 yeah. You don't see no alcohol in this at all. And if there is some alcohol in it, it is so very, very little. And I mean, extremely little that they didn't even put it in the ingredients. <laughs> So, yeah, if you're going to argue with me there, well, I kind of just blew your cover, I mean, so I wouldn't even dare argue. And this is optional, right here, Witch Hazel. This is um, just a preference. This, you do not have to use this at all if you don't want. And you got to have distilled water, and yes, I poured distilled water in a little water bottle thing right here because well I did not want to use a whole jug on this and eh, uh, yeah afraid it'll go everywhere and yeah so I put distilled water in this little um, water jug right here and you must only use distilled water only you cannot use any spring water or drinking water at all even the purified kind do not use it because the reason why is because they usually put some type of flavoring and it even though it don't taste like it has flavoring it, but they can put, you know, certain stuff that is not good to the skin in those uh, waters. And definitely do not use tap water. Tap water is absolutely a no-no. Don't ever use tap water because it has all that sewer, sewer germs could be in it. You never know what could be in tap water. You don't know if it's purely clean like they claim they filter it with your faucets and all that. So, yeah, just don't risk it. Distilled water only. Okay. And, like I said, went over the ingredients. Antibacterial soap, which you can get all this at the Dollar Tree, to be honest, or a dollar store very easily. Distilled water, Walmart, any uh, grocery store basically has it. Some dollar stores have it, some don't. You just have to look around for that. It costs 78 cents up to a dollar ten max, so it's relatively cheap. So, yeah. You can use other types of soaps as long as it's uh, unscented, which almost every soap has a scent to it anyways. I just get the antibacterial liquid soap because it's like the safest in my eyes, but there's some other stuff like the white uh, soap that's unscented. You can use that too, but I just say use this right here. Gotta put on some gloves. Now, I'm just going to tell you straight up, everything in this video is a preference. And, um, like I said, the witch hazel right here, optional. Don't have to use it, but I use it. So, yeah. On the gloves right here. First thing you want to do, open up your distilled water. Or you can open this up and put the soap in first. Like I said, this is all just mixing. Take this, make sure it don't touch. And I usually fill mine up to right around halfway. About right there, be okay. About like that. Which, every spray bottle is different, and if you're using a medical squeeze bottle with the nozzle and everything, that's okay too. Like I said, I'm using this as mixing, and well, can use this if I wanted to, but I prefer the stainless bottles because you can wipe them down, like in case, like, oh, I don't know, if in case you didn't bag it very well which you should always make sure it is bagged properly anyways and then well 
stainless you can wipe down, disinfect. That's the reason why I prefer it. And then you open this up right here. Has that nice little hole right there. Oh, shoot. Accidentally got it everywhere. I'll clean that up, guys. And I fill it until it gets to the tip of that right there. And this right here is optional. Don't need it. Uh, the reason why I use this and put it in my um, um, substitute is because witch hazel can calm down the skin. It cleans and soothes it. Um, you know, when you get done with the tattoo and there's a little bit of red irritation and bleeding, this kind of like dries up the bleeding, like stops it some. And like, uh, it also takes away like the skin irritation. And I just take a very little tap of that. Just a little bit in there. And you can see it dissolving right there. And then I put this back right there. And I actually put a lid on it. Like this. And I end up doing a good shake. As you can see, I accidentally put a little bit much in there. So. There you go, guys. Now where it's right here. Now, if you guys are saying, well, how much do I have to mix? How much do I have to put in? Uh, that's all preference, guys. That is it. The more uh, soap you put in, the soapier your um, solution will be. The less soap you put in, the less soapier it will be. So, it's just like that. See how much there is right there? And I just shake it. You know, pair around like that. And as you can see, you it, it looks sort of similar to green soap in a way. And right here you have the substitute solution right there. And you can still shake it, you know. Get it all mixed up. Make a little whirlpool in there. Looks like green soap and urine put together. <laughs> Basically. And it does have a really good smell to it. So your clients will love the smell to it as well. I know I kind of went a little overboard and my, but camera views, it's like very hard, weird. I like to do everything close up. That's where you can get a good view of what I'm doing. And now that we have this mixed, we can put it in our um, squeeze bottle or you can put it in your, let's say, spray bottle. Use a spray bottle. Um, that's all up to you guys. But anyways, if you want like a light uh, green soap substitute, put like one, two squeezes in there. If you're like me and like it really soapy, just put a bunch in there. This is all preference on how much you want to put in. That's all preference on how much you put in. Uh, this is optional. And that's basically it. This can cost $2 or $3 to make. It depends if you want the witch hazel in it or not, which I prefer the witch hazel in there because it mixes a little bit better. But that's just me, guys. And, well, that's all I really got to say on this video. And I'll probably get more dislikes than likes on this, but 